Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Wednesday the 9th of October 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying yourself as best you possibly can on a Wednesday. Uh, I'm not sure if that's a good day for you or not a good day for you on Wednesday. Depends, I suppose. Um, what's going on in the world? I see Bob Woodward, uh, well-known, very well-known, very famous, I suppose, reporter, he of the, if you remember, all the President's Men uh, movie was based on him as a Washington Post reporter back in the days of Nixon. Um, he has often produced some interesting uh, tell-all type books because he manages to get in with the right people. Uh, he's saying that Trump uh, gave Putin, secretly gave Putin some COVID test machines the ones made by Abbott in the early days of the uh, pandemic, uh, when the machines were in short supply, he passed them on to his buddy Putin. Uh, there's also some interesting stuff about Biden's thoughts on Putin. He said the man is absolutely evil, which is correct, obviously. But he also is rather, Biden was very apparently in private was very critical of Barack Obama, saying that Obama never took him seriously enough. Uh, when they invade, when Russia invaded Crimea in 2014, which was of course the first step to, uh, you know, trying to take uh, over um, Ukraine, uh, and with hindsight, of course, he was right. But, but actually, I don't know if if people really understood that at the time. But yeah, he certainly was right. People didn't take Putin seriously enough. Didn't understand the absolute menace that this man was to the entire world. Uh, at that time and so that's justifiable comment I would say uh, but hindsight is hindsight right it's difficult <laughs> everything looks is much easier when you think back about it all right let's get on with the game of Sudoku then this is our medium level puzzle for Wednesday so far I haven't noticed any oh there we are I see the first number now eights are blocking across here across here and up here so that's how we'll begin today with a lucky eight ball and uh, what else can we do? Hmm. I'm seeing a lot of things, but I'm not seeing a single digit placement uh, yet. Has to be one somewhere. Okay, let's go through one by one and just concentrate on each number and see what we can come up with then. It's a medium level puzzle. These are normally pretty easy, so shouldn't take too much effort to find an easy number or two. There we are. Three's blocking up there. I'm just hearing a swooshing sound outside. Does that mean it's been raining in the night and I didn't know? How it sounds like cars are running. I'm just going to have a quick look. Oh. Wow, I must have slept through the rain. That's very unusual. I've just noticed. I've just, I don't look, look outside uh, when I wake up. Um, I've just noticed it's been raining in the night. Hopefully it didn't rain enough to uh, flood my car um, flood the garden I'll have to sort that out later but it's not raining now I can't hear rain now hmm. oh what's going on with the easy numbers oh I'm gonna have to 
All right, well, I can see something immediately. We've got 1 and 3 blocking this square, and we don't have 1 and 3 in this row, so 1 and 3 are in those squares there. And this, uh, can I get either no, 1 or 3? No. So this is not 1 or 3. Uh, what is it? It's an, no, it's not. It's a 4. Ah, uh, no, I spotted something else there before. So what did I see there? So I see I see the 4s there now. I'm sure there was something else. Yeah, okay, 9. So 4 and 9 block up and down these two columns. So that's a pair of 4 and 9 here. Now what? Now we've got one blocking across here and one down here. That will give us a 1 there. We, again, we've got 4 and 9. What are we left with? 5, 6, 7, 7 across there. There's our 7. And this will be 5 and 6. So 6 is there, 5s. Okay, so 5 blocking across here, 5 blocking across here, 5 up here. That will give me a 5 in that square there. Now we've got 5 and 8 blocking up here, 5 and 8 blocking up here, and 5 and 8 blocking across here. Oh, it feels almost like a New York Times puzzle with their pairs. We've got 5 and 8 in these squares here now. Uh, what does it mean? Mm, not sure. Uh, anyway, I think we'll come back to that later. Let's investigate this row here. It looks like a likely candidate for a for examination. We are missing three, seven, and nine. Seven blocks these two squares, so we've got the seven there. And we'll end up with a three, nine pair there. And now we've got one blocking across here and one blocking up here. So there is our one. If that's three and nine, this has to be two and six. We've got the two blocking down here. There's the two, there's the six. And what? Uh, now we might be able to go back. Oh, no, we've got one blocking up here, one blocking up here, and one across there. So there goes our one, and then one across here and here like this. There's our one. This will be a three, as I mentioned before. Three blocking down here, three across here, three across there. There's our three, three blocking up here. There's the three, there's the nine. One blocking down here, down here, there's a one. And one across this way, this way, and down here. So the digit one is finished. Two is locked down here and down there now. Seven blocks this square, so in the bottom row there's the seven, and the last digit to find here is a six. Six blocks across here like this, giving me a six in that square. Eight blocks this square, we still need eight in this column, it goes there. To finish the column of five is going to do it. Five blocks down here, that means this is a five, the missing number here is a two and four blocks down here that puts four into that square four to the top and the top here, actually I could just say it's the last number in this uh, column, isn't it? Seven blocks across here. Seven is one of our missing digits here blocking up here, so that's going to be a seven. And the last number to place up here is a nine, I think. Actually, we've got the 9 blocking across here. That'll give us 9 there and 7 there. 
7 across there means that this is a 7. Uh, it's the last digit 7 actually. Uh, what are we left with? What area looks like we've got some digits to work with? 3, anything we can do there? Uh, not necessarily. Uh, okay, so actually earlier on I worked that out that these two numbers were 9 and something. 4 and 9, right? Okay, yeah, there I see it now. 4, 9, 4, 9. So this is 4 and 9, so this can't be 4 or 9. It's got to be 6. And so the missing digits here and here are 2 and uh, 8. 2 and 8 in those squares, so this is not 2 or 8, it's going to be 6. 6 blocks across here, there's our 6, there's our 5. 5 blocks across here, 5 blocks up here and up there. So there's a 5. And 8 blocks this square and this square, so 8 in the top row must be there. This would be a 2. Uh, not much more to go now. Let's see what else are we looking for. Um, twos, okay, threes. Three across there and three up there will give us three in that square. Three down here, three across there. There's a three. That's the final digit, three. Two blocking across here gives us two in this square. Two down here means that's a two. Two up here and two across there means that's a two and that's out of the way. Four, what do we know? Uh, there, there's a four. One more digit to go here. Uh, what are you, what are you? Are you a nine? I think you are a nine. We've also got nine blocking up here. It puts nine there, nine across there. There's a nine. This is a four, I remember. Still need a four here. Four blocking up there. There's a four. Last number there is an eight. Oh, there's no more places to put digits. So we'll have to come back later. Uh, I guess in the evening again I'm going to be out all day today uh, and uh, I'll be playing hopefully at least one more game later today. Take care. Bye-bye.